Hi everyone. I am Dr. Surjit Singh. Today we will talk about the lead code problem, strobogrammatic numbers. Let us begin. A strobogrammatic number is that which looks the same when rotated by 180 degrees. We are to find all such numbers of given length n. Recursion is an obvious solution for such problems. For n equal to 0, the only possible solution is an empty string, while for n equal to 1, digit 0 is one of the solutions. As 0 is a single digit that does not change when rotated by 180 degrees. Similarly, 1 is another answer, and so is 8. No other single digit has this symmetry. For n equal to 2, double zero cannot be considered as an answer. First answer is 11, 69 is another, and this is the complete list. For n equal to 3, list grows like this, and we can see a pattern. In the complete list of 12 such numbers, first 4 have 0 in the middle, next 4 have 1 in the middle, and then 4 more have 8 in the middle. With this background, let us develop the recursive functions. In this example, n equal to 3, so 3 is the length of the required strobogrammatic numbers. We will be changing n in recursion calls, so let us save this given value of n as final n. We know that this is a list of 5 reversible pairs. We will now develop the recursion function generate strobo numbers. n equal to 0 is an edge case. So we return a list that contains an empty string. n equal to 1 is another edge case. Result could be either 0 or 1 or 8. So we return a list of three characters as the solutions for n equal to 1. In the recursive case, we will find the solution for n minus 2. So in the next call, n becomes 1. This is the edge case which returns the list of strings containing 0, 1 and 8, which is saved as previous result for n equal to 3. We now define a list named result that will hold numbers of length 3. We process the elements of previous result one by one and call them previous num. In the first iteration, it is 0, and try to fit it within various reversible pairs. First pair is 0, 0. Note, digit 0 can come in between, but first digit of the final number cannot be 0. So, 0, 0 pair can be selected only if n is not equal to final n. Presently, both n and final n are 3. So we skip 0, 0 pair. Next pair is 1, 1. We enclose previous number within the pair and append the combined string in the results. Next pair gives 6, 0, 9. And then 8, 0, 8. And then finally 9, 0, 6. For next previous number, we get 4 more entries in the result and 4 more for 8. There are 12 entries in all in result. We return result as the solution for final n, which is 3. Now consider another example in which final n is 5. 5 calls the recursive function for 3, which calls it for n equal to 1. 1 is the edge case and it returns 0, 1, 8 which becomes a previous result for 3. This time, n is not same as final n, so the pair 0, 0 also participates, and the result for n equal to 3 has 15 entries. This list of result for 3 becomes the previous result for 5. For its new result, we define an empty list. First entry in previous result is triple zero. This time, n is equal to final n, therefore the pair 0, 0 is skipped. Pair 1 gives 
the first entry in result as shown while pair 6 9 gives this and then we get this and this next entry in previous result that is 1 1 gives four more numbers the process continues and final result will have 60 entries in all this becomes the final result for n equal to 5 for very large final n if it is an odd number we start with a list of 3 for n equal to 1 every time when n increases by 2 the list gets multiplied by 5 except in the last term this factor is 4 while for even n we start with an empty list and it grows as 5 plus 25 and so on in both cases in last term 0 0 pair is not allowed so the last term is 4 into 5 to power n by 2 minus 1 but for simplicity we will consider it as 5 to power n by 2 sum of all these terms is this appending of each character takes o1 time this is constant time size of each string is n number of strings is 5 to power n by 2 plus 1 so n times the result becomes the time complexity there are n by 2 recursive calls so call stack uses n by 2 memory space but other factors are more important we counted the total number of strings to compute the time complexity memory used by output for reporting final results dominates the space required and is more than the auxiliary memory so space complexity is space used by second last recursive car now we will discuss iterative solution for the same problem we consider the example of n equal to 5 we will start with initial string length to be 0 if n is even and 1 if it is odd three strobo grammatic numbers of length 1 are 0 1 and 8 for even n current string length will be 0 and nums will be an empty string we run a loop while current string length is less than n and in each iteration we increase this length by 2. We define a list new nums to store numbers of length 3. Turn by turn we process each num in nums and we process each pair in list of reversible pairs. First pair is 0 0. As current string length 3 is not equal to n we append their combination in new nums. Next pair gives another entry and likewise three more entries. Next num gives five more entries and last num gives five more. At the end of all numbers we have the complete list for length 3. In the end we assign new nums to nums. In next iteration new current string length becomes 5 and new nums becomes empty. First num now is triple zero, but because current string length now has the final value, zero zero pair is not allowed, so the first pair is one one, which gives this new number. Next number is this, and so on. Each number in nums gives four entries, so in all there are 60 entries, which become nums when we come out of the two for loops. When while loop ends, the scope of new nums ends and we return the list nums as our final answer. Growth of size of the lists is same as in recursive method. So both time and space complexities remain same as above. Thank you for your time. Please stay tuned for more such videos.